This is Edifier's most basic and entry-level wireless IEMs. The package includes three ear fins, three ear tips and a charging cable. The ear fins work well for intense workout and running. The control center houses the microphone, charging port, volume rockers, the core and media playback functions. The cable itself is 60cm long. I wish they would give cable management tab like the more expensive line ups they have to shorten the cable. But the earbox is magnetic so I guess that will do for now. The tube is 0.5cm long. And the sound isolation is not bad, but it can be improved if the tube was 1 or 2 mm longer and is angled at 45 to 60 degrees for better comfort. It is powered by an 8 mm nonlinear dynamic driver. It also uses Bluetooth 4.1 for connectivity, and the maximum line outside is 11 meters. The battery life is rated at 6 hours, but based on our battery life test, on the iPhone 6 at the second volume bar, we got 5 hours and 15 minutes. We're on to audio quality, pop and EDM. For this, we're using Tian B. Okay. At low bass frequency, it is very energetic and notable. You can feel the air pressure booming into your ears. It's a bit strong for me, but it will be great for bass heads. It does not eat into the vocals and has zero distortion. The subtle bass vibration fades out smoothly. The low bass frequency is well bodied. However, the low bass does overpower the vocals quite a bit. Tia Mia, do it again. The bass is superly energetic and firm. You can feel the air pressure. The bass fades bodily smooth and with a decent drag, especially at the 2 minute and 5 second mark. The vibration is just orgasm. Bass overpowers the vocals quite a bit and there's a clear separation between the two. Bass is well bodied, EDM tone sounds pushed back and vocals slightly muffled. Next, vocals and instrumentals. For this, we'll be using violin the raindrops. The piano and violin tone sounds right. It leans closer to the warm sounding type and not the crystal clear type. I prefer the crystal clear type. The high needs more shine. The tone feels half-hearted. The bass and drums all powers the piano and violin in terms of audible levels. But there is a clear separation between the two. Next, we are using Panatonic See-Through. Mitch Grassley high-pitched male tenor vocals needs more shine at the highs. Each singer can be identified easily. Every diction and pronunciation is slightly muffled. Vocal beatboxing, echoing and humming is eargasm However, it all powers Mitch Grassley's vocal in the song completely. This wireless spot IEMs perform well from the low bass frequency to the mids. The bass is a strength that caters well for younger audience. Plus, I do not fault these IEMs for not performing well from the mids to the high based on its highly affordable prices. However, I do recommend the W288BT and W293BT for sharper mids to highs. If you wish to purchase this, there will be links in the video description below. Do tell us your opinion, where you are from, and tell us what can we review in the next video. Leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.